Welcome guys to another Age of Empires 4 casted game. Look at that teleportation here. We got Kiljardi playing as the Abbasid Dynasty in the Colo Red against his opponent playing as the Holy Roman Empire in the Colo Purple. It's Demu from Team Liquid. Welcome everybody to another Age of Empires 4 casted game. Hope you're enjoying this one and hope you're having a great day start of the week although it's tuesday here but uh, I'm, i i know most of the people there uh who see this probably it's like monday or something but i don't know i don't know when this video will go up but i we don't know for sure there is an early barracks coming here and it's surprisingly enough it's not from kildjardi it's from demo usually demo is the more defensive player i, I will say I, I wouldn't call it defensive because obviously you need to be very aggressive in this game if you want to win but uh, I don't usually see this thing from him, and I wonder. I, I wonder what what he can accomplish. Now the the good thing for him is that we're on cliffside, and is it cliffside? No, it's not. Uh, I, I just forgot the name of the map. Uh, the distance between the two players is very very short, so technically this guy. Uh, he can cause some damage here because he will arrive just on time. Now, if this gold bay needs to reach to 3,900, and then he will have enough gold to ASAP. He won't have enough uh, enough gold for fresh foods, but uh, he will have enough gold for aging up. So, 3,010, and a second spearman just arrived, and looks like he will make it just in time. Looks like he will not lose any villagers. All those injured villagers are here, you know, just gathering, uh, gathering the ship. Uh, you always send your injured villagers to gather a ship. That's a that's a classic, you know. And Demu, stop the production of those spearmen. Actually, that's that's very smart coming from him. I mean, you don't want to overproduce because if you think about it. Like, what can two spearmen can accomplish than five don't at this point in the game? Like, berries are under the town center range, so you won't be able to do any kind of damage. Woodline is in the under the town center range. There's nothing you can do about it. So only two spearmen. That's all you need to do. That's all you need to do to cause some damage. And he definitely did that. Now military wing is coming, so he will be able to deal with that. Uh, this annoyance very very soon meanwhile demo with a little bit of a macro uh, issue uh, that's the thing about getting those barracks up sometimes you know you're uh, you don't have the best resources allocated all the time just because you're trying to match like okay how much I need uh, how much I need to do now this should I go gold first should I go go food first what what's the what's the deal here It looks like this... Never mind, this mining game is not going down. Someone is repairing it. If it does go down, it's actually a... Uh, it's actually a big deal because you're actually delaying his golden age. By maybe some seconds. But, it, you know, an advantage is an advantage, nevertheless. I can chapel. Spot near the stone. Is he trying to go for a 2TC? Oh, he just wants to grab the stone here. That could actually be a choice for him, especially since you are dealing with the Abbasid Dynasty. He most likely will go for a second down center at the beginning. Let's see if that's his plan. <coughs> oh my god, freaking cough. Still having to really figure how, how to kill that yet. He's rushing it with uh, a lot of villagers and now he's going... Some of them going going for stone actually, and some of them going for wood, which is uh, very, uh, very very good for him. Now the military wing units arrive, and they come with a couple of archers, so we're gonna be dealing quite good against those spearmen. Demo already has the answer for that. It's gonna be the early man at arms, gonna be dealing a lot of damage to those archers. Technically, not getting any kind of damage from those archers. They only do five damage, so only two damage each hit. So they are—they're very good. They're very good. 
Now, Demo already has the units in position here. With the Man at Arms. Need to deal with those archers. Those are the threat here. The Spearman, you can always kite. You can always fight with your villagers, but the... The archers are really annoying. See a couple of mana armors already here. We deal with the spearman and just a couple of more units from Kiljardi. Kind of archer is coming soon, actually, so it's gonna get really interesting. Kiljardi trying to snipe a villager. But looks like the mana arms will take the archer first. And indeed he did. At the same time. Camel Archer. Uh, pro probably the Camel Archer has only one purpose in the game, and that is. You know, kite mana darts. They do fairly, fairly big damage. Twelve arrow damage is quite good, and they stay, still take a lot of damage. So they're a very good unit. They are a very, very good unit. It looks like he will go with a camel archer next, where Demu is building the town center. So you gotta be careful here. You only have one mana arms here, and no other unit coming for him. Gotta be careful not to lose any kind of villager. Villager getting targeted here. It's like he will run for his life first. Villager of the game goes in favor of Kildjardi. Just take down the Spearman and manage to pull up the second town center. Meanwhile, Kildjardi also getting the second town center here. Next to the goal, next to the stone. Very, very safe. He's not putting it here on the deer, just gathering enough resources. Having 12 on gold. Oh my god, that's that's huge. That's huge. Never mind. Is he going for more stun? I don't think so. And now these two players definitely not gonna be having a feudal war, I guess. No, not gonna be having a feudal war. Although that things could change with the archer range here. Charlie just. Enter the golden age. Spillager is gonna eat some deer. Hold on a second. <clears throat> okay. Great. I swear to god that I start feeling better the last days. Maybe it's because I'm doing these cassette games and they are very very throat energy consuming. I, I believe I believe that's the case. Because otherwise I don't really cough during the day anymore. But yeah, that's one of the reasons I, I stopped doing more casted games. Usually I, I record way more during the day. But I still stick to one video a day. That that haven't changed. But um, I don't really record more than two videos a day. So it's getting hard for me to be honest. Because of a physical limitation that I cannot just record longer for longer hours. Looks like Demu, not really interested in going into the castle age yet. I already have a couple of archer range. I already have the barracks from before and he's researching steel arrow. So he's gonna be having plus one range attack very soon and probably go to hunt with some archers here. Something we have seen very often in the, in the last few weeks, Holy Roman Empire. Just having a great time against those... Uh, you know, other units in, in the field is just because they have marching drills. Uh, they they don't do quite a lot of damage to those are uh, these these camels. Probably because he has a lot of HP. A lot of HP. Meanwhile, farm transition coming up for Demu. You gotta love the farm transition near the Akron Chapel. I think I, I did mention it in a video before, but I'm a huge fan of early farms. I'm a huge fan. That's why I enjoy playing the English. I mean, I don't quite enjoy them. They're quite a bit boring for me, to be honest, to play with. Uh, very, very simple. Uh, but I enjoy the fact that I can go farms really early on. And looks like Kildjardi will spot these two units here with a couple of horsemen, so they will be going down for sure. More units coming here. It's like this single camel archer just guarding, just to check if there's more units coming. And Demo is actually putting those archers defending the gold. Is he trying to go castle now? 
Okay, Yardy has a lot of horsemen in the field, so you're gonna be careful. There's no spearman for Demu on the field, and these mana arms are not exactly good against those horsemen. I mean, they do tank a lot of damage, but they don't do much DPS, so... These archers, you gotta be careful here. You gotta be very, very careful. It's like Demu will get all his eco upgrades first. Keeps producing units. And let's go back to check the income per minute here. It's like he's really having a great time with those deer and the berries here in the back. Not a huge mass of cavalry already here. And the Camel Archers can actually deal a very good job against those Spearmen. They are really good at kiting. And hopefully Keith Jardy sees this and he, he decides to engage. I hope, I hope Demu sees that he doesn't have any kind of the Spearman. He needs to run here before he gets any kind of surround. And he loses quite a couple of archers here. And now Horseman will retreat for the moment. Mana Dams are ready. There is five of them, so they are very, very good. Walls coming out for Kiljardi in the west side of the map, protecting a couple of more deer packs. Uh, the board, which unfortunately cannot eat. And the economic wing goes out for Kiljardi. It's gonna be aging up in one minute and a half. I mean, those units, this is what we call pretty much the fake aggression. Like, we know how many units he has because we are in GOAT mode. We can observe everything. But Demo doesn't really know, like, what's going on. Does he have more units? Or is this just a distraction? And, you know, probably uh, a guy like Demu already smells that his opponent may be going Castle Age. Because he don't see more units and he's just running away. That could be a potential uh, threat for him. So he, he's deciding to go Castle Age himself. It's already halfway they, there, at least with the foot. He has enough gold to Asia very soon. Well, let's take a look at Kiljardi's base. We have the outpost here in the front protecting the gold. At the same time, another raid happening here. Second villager of the game went down. And a, no, a couple of villagers stuck here. Cannot go out. There's a lot of horsemen here on the field dealing with those archers at the same time. Archer numbers, very, very good here. Decent number of archers already on Kiljardi's base. That's beautiful. And Kiljardi reaches the castle -ish. Kills a couple of knights, five crossbows. That's all he needs to deal with this. That's all he needs. Horseman, come back. Now, Demu did quite a, a lot of damage here. Not only killed five villagers, but he did force a lot of idle time. And he's aging up on the back of his base with the burger. It's gonna spam those mana arms if you don't know what the burger is. Let me introduce you to the uh, Burger King. It it just produces. It's a barracks. <laughs> That's it. It's a barracks with asteroids. It will produce mana arms every five seconds, I believe. Yeah, every five seconds you can produce mana arms. And if you research military academy, you should be able to produce them even faster. So, not only that, upgrades are also very fast. More mana arms coming for them. Mosque already there for Kijardi. He's gonna start grabbing some relics. Well, Demu, still the only priest uh, prelate that he has is in the Akron Chapel. He's not grabbing the relic. He'll potentially get it out of here and secure this relic and go back home very quickly. Now, Manatarms with the heavy maces, they do quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of damage. 
to those knights as well. So you're not really worried about not having a spearman, especially with only four knights on the field. Meanwhile, veteran veteran C for Archer is coming for Kiljardi as well as plus one range attack. Looks like he's gonna go out for a switch, a transition to uh, a big Archer mass, just like we like to see from the Abbasid, just because of the composite boast. It worked really well for him. Does he have it? Not yet. He doesn't have fair declaration as well, so uh, he's not really interested on the economic part yet. He's just worried about the military side of things. And then we already have quite a, a lot of units here. Quite a lot of units. Giliardi doesn't really have the mass to deal with this. And if he goes there to fight, he will die. He knows that. That's why he needs to retreat. Likely for him, then we stop searching the mosque. So this will give he kill Yardi a chance to gather those relics. Already one coming coming for him. Let's see if Demu wants to grab another one. There you go. Now remember he didn't go go to the Regnis Cathedral, so all these relics just give the same amount of gold just as any other Sif. Villagers here it looks like they're gonna get unlucky. Never mind, they will run, but these guys have marching drills, so they will catch them up eventually. These guys are quite fast, quite fast. And while a couple of archers just guarding the gold here. Another more units guarding the gold. And another more here guarding the gold. And then Kiljardi comes with the mangonel, exactly what he needs when you have quite a long, big number of archers. Very nice defense coming from Kiljardi. Managed to scare Demus' army and now he's forced to retreat with those archers. But this is the March of the Dead. Beautiful. Meanwhile, Fertile Crescent coming up for Kiljardi. Meanwhile, looks like he spot a couple of archers here from Demu and now he's marching with the knights. Looks like these knights can potentially take out all of this. Especially with those archers backing them up. And another mosque already here. Have one relic. And they will also have one relic for himself. I'm gonna grab another one next to the wolf. And another one that was supposed to belong to Kiljardi. Have both units guarding here the relic to see which one comes first. It looks like Demo will lose his archer mass. At least the one that came here. And now this area is clean for the moment. Priest goes down. And looks like the third relic will go... Actually, he got this one. Amazing. Uh, but anyway, looks like Demu will be ahead on the relic count. More horsemen coming. For Demu, definitely, when your opponent has so many crossbows, you need uh, horsemen here. It looks like Kiljardi went for a raid, but managed to get a villager here, probably. In what Wall of attempt. Not exactly where. There you go. It's a distraction, guys. Looks like the priest will go down and us will here. So really not technically not 100 secure for the moment, but it's really close. It is very, very close. Plus one melee attack coming for Demu. Meanwhile, plus two range attack coming for Kiljardi. Gonna get those eco upgrades as well. Or we have tier two gathering upgrade. Both players do. Mimicking each other. And now there's a big mass here. Like even the villagers. It's like this just go for the goal here. Now the big mass of archers. Dealing quite a lot of damage to Kiljardi. And look at the army numbers now. Horseman coming here to save the day. Like at this point with the, with the Holy Roman Empire. Usually you expect like a lot of units that... Like they, they are mana arms, right? They they are mana arms, but you don't necessarily expect the horseman in the castle age. Only in the Imperial Age, just to rate a little bit, but not in the castle age. 
Knight still alive. Still alive. Alive and kicking. Meanwhile, a couple of sacred sites already there for Kijardi. That's a nice passive gold income he has there. He's also ahead on villagers for the moment. Knight's gonna get exposed here, unfortunately. But does will he manage to get any kind of villager kill? Never mind. Villager gets the first kill of the of the game for the villagers. Meanwhile, more walls coming here to secure more resources. Oh, that's a huge army. That's a huge army, and looks like he has more here. Horseman taking down the relic. Kiljardi forced to retreat for the moment. He's gonna gather some stun. Now Demo is coming here with a lot of spearmen, a lot of archers. He has quite a lot of gold in the bank. Quite a lot of gold. He's getting all those upgrades. Magonels. Trying to get some shots from the back. Nice to get some decent shots, but the C formation is very hard for you to do some decent damage against those. Crossbow numbers just decreasing down to 9 at the moment. A couple of Mangonels actually here. And the Mangonels just deciding where to shoot. And looks like Kiljardi will still be alive for the moment. Mangonels still alive. And looks like Kiljardi will hold up. But the horsemen are already here for a raid. Inside Kiljardi's base. So we're gonna have to retreat for the moment. Oh, God, it's in a lot of idle time. Equal priest. I'm gonna get that relic here. If you don't mind. More units coming into Kiljardi's base. And the problem is Kiljardi doesn't have much military units there on the field. He has quite a lot of uh, Spearman crossbow. But I feel like it's not enough against these massive units that Demu has. More units coming here to raid. More farm transitions. Meanwhile, let's take a look at Demu's base. Farm transition pretty much done for him. 41 farms. Kiljardi just getting in there. Remember, he has pretty much cheap farms, so he can just with this wood, you can go for a farm transition at any point in the game. Have like 50 farms in a, in a matter of seconds. Now, Demu forcing more idle time. Killing more villagers, and now he's ahead on villagers. Kills 37 villagers so far. Is this a wolf? Oh my god. Demo's units are just everywhere. It looks like Kiljardi wants to put a keep here. He's calling a lot of villagers to build this keep. He needs that keep to have some space to breathe. But I'm not so sure if this keep is gonna go up and in Alpos gets the relic and now the Alpos is in range of killing those villagers. I don't think this keep is gonna go up. Magonel shots still alive. But the keep the, but the keep is not finished. He lost a lot of villagers here. It's back to 70 villagers. And the keep is not up. Magonels still forcing Demu to push away. He's trying to build this keep, but it's impossible. There are too many units here. Now he, he grabs the army. Are some decent shots from the Mangonels. The, the Mangonels are already paid for themselves. Villagers go to repair the Mangonel at the same time. Wolf uh, working for Kiljardi all this time. And the keep won't go up. But meanwhile, Demu 
despite doing a lot of damage, he's back to 14 military units. I mean, never mind. He's not behind. He just went Imperial with the Alespatch Palace. Long time no see, my friend. No time no see. And while Kijardi is in a little bit of a trouble now. Demo age up so fast I didn't even notice. It's getting elite horsemen. Got a couple of bombards there. We we'll definitely deal a lot of damage to that keep. Grease axles also coming there just in case you don't want to lose them. The bombards are coming now. And the keep will for sure go down eventually. Another keep coming here just to secure a little bit of gold. I said a little bit, but actually protects the two gold in the back. Wolf still working for Kiljardi. Finally takes down the wolf. Looks like the keep will go down here. Three bombards are already there for demo. Maratams are already elite. Plus three range armor, tight barns. And this thing that I don't even know what it is. Reinforced defenses. Beautiful. Taking down protection. And I just need to take down those mangonels. I decide to take down the knight first. Hand cannoneers are already called for them. Gotta be careful not to lose that bombard. And now the stream of man at arms are coming and Kiljardi taps out. What a game. Hope you enjoyed this match and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.